In this video, today we design a Turing machine for the language n is equal to 0 power n, 1 power n such that n is greater than 0. So let us try to understand the pattern of the language, what it describes. If n is equal to 1, it is 0, 1. If n is equal to 2, it is 0, 0, 1, 1. If n is equal to 3, it is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 and so on. So these are the strings that belong to the language. Our aim is to design a Turing machine which recognizes these strings that belong to the given language. In my previous video with the title Introduction to Turing Machine, already I discussed about the block diagram and its mathematical model and transition function. Please refer to the video, look into the video and get back to this video so that you will understand better. Now this is the input tape which is infinite in size. There is a read write head. This read write head in the Turing machine is able to read as well as a write contents and it is able to move in the left to right as well as right to left also. Now let us recollect what is the transition function of Turing machine. From the given state, this indicates the tape symbol. Tape means this input tape. It reads the symbol from the input tape. The Turing machine may change its state by reading or writing the contents into the input tape and further the read write head is ready to move in the left or right direction. Now we see the logic before designing the Turing machine. Let us consider a string which belongs to the language. We should remember one important thing. While designing any automata, whether it is a finite state machine or a pushdown automata or a Turing machine, we always keep in our mind the strings that belong to the language. We don't worry about or we should not worry about the strings that do not belong to the language. Okay, now let's continue discuss the logic. Read write head is always pointing to the very first symbol of the input. When it reads this zero, this zero is replaced by x and it continues to move in the right hand side direction in search of one. When it reads one, this one is replaced by y. Again, it comes back in the left-hand side direction in search of 0. To find the leftmost 0, because there are many zeros, now the Turing machine aim is to find the leftmost 0. So, we should allow the read right head to move or to reach till x. Then the read right head direction is changed towards right. Now, it reads the second 0. That 0 is replaced by x. Again, it moves in the right-hand side direction in search of 1. Now, this 1 is replaced by y. Again, it comes back, 0 is replaced by x, moves in the right, 1 is replaced by y. Likewise, all the zeros are replaced by x and all the 1s are replaced by y. So, the logic is the Turing machine is trying to replace every 0 by x, alternately every 1 is replaced by y, so that it checks whether the count of 0 is equal to the count of 1. This is the logic in designing the Turing machine. I hope you have understood the logic. Keeping this logic in mind, let us draw the transition diagram for the Turing machine. Always we assume that the Turing machine is resting in the initial state. The initial state let it be Q0. From the Q0, the very first symbol, what we are expecting the Turing machine to read is the 0. When it reads the 0, that 0 is replaced by x. Further, the read right head is ready to move in the right hand side direction. Now the state of the Turing machine is changed to q1. Now from the state q1, it continued to read the zeros and it should reach 1. Till reaching this one, it should continue to read all the symbols. So what are the symbols appearing now? Only zeros are appearing. So whenever it reads the zeros, it continue to read the zeros. It is not doing any modification in the input tape, but the read right head continue to move in the right hand side direction. After reading all the zeros, Turing machine will be reading 1. When it reads 1, replace that 1 by y and the read right head direction is changed towards left and the state is also changed to q2. Now the read right head is here, this one. After re replacing this 1 by y, the state is q2 
and the direction of the read write head is changed towards left while moving in the left it will come across zeros then only it could reach x so whenever it reads zeros allow the turing machine to read all the zeros and continue to move in the left the purpose of moving in the left is to find the x why it has to locate the x then only it could find the leftmost zero so it continue to read all the zeros and it continue to move in the left at one point it will read x when it reads x that x is also not disturbed but the read write head is changed towards right so now what will be the scenario with our input the first zero is replaced by x the second zero and the third zero will remain the same the first one is replaced by y and the rest of the inputs will remain the same so it begins as of now the state of the turing machine is q not here after reading this x once again it is ready to read this zero now if it reads that zero zero is replaced by x further the read write head is moving in the right hand side direction while reading the zeros it continue reading the zeros and move in the right now before reaching the one it could come across some y also because the one which was earlier existing replaced by y so now when you are reading the input for the second time it could come across some y then only it could reach one so when it reads y's in between that y also should not be disturbed further continue to move in the right hand side direction then after reading the y it will reach one that one is replaced by y the read right head direction is moved towards left now the scenario is x x 0 y y 1 after replacing this one by y the state of the turing machine is q2 now from q2 it is ready to move in the left hand side direction when it is ready to move in the left hand side direction it should move till it finds x till it finds x it comes across y also now zero then only it could reach x so when it reads y what the turing machine has to do when it reads y that y shouldn't be disturbed but the read write head should continue to move in the left hand side direction being in the same state q2 then it reads zero no disturbing of zeros then it reaches x as soon as it reaches x that x is also not disturbed but the read write head is ready to move in the right hand side direction as soon as it reaches x the state is changed to q not now it is ready to move in the right hand side direction when it is moving in the right hand side direction again zero replaced by x all the symbols in between whatever it comes across continue to move in the right hand side direction without disturbing those symbols it reaches one that one is replaced by y all these things already i have explained at one point the scenario appears like this all the zeros are replaced by x all the ones are replaced by y at one point the state of turing machine is q not here after reading this x now the expected symbol from q not is zero but what is available y is available it means there are no more zeros all the zeros are replaced by x when there are no zeros now the turing machine has to confirm that there are no extra ones here how it is confirming after reading all these y's the turing machine is expecting the blank symbol when there are no zeros there should not be ones also if that is the case the count of zero is equal to the count of ones so now let us complete the design of the turing machine from q not at one point the turing machine reads only the y when it reads y continue to move in the direction right change the state to q3 now from q3 let us allow the turing machine to read rest of the y's after reading all the y's we confirm that there is only the blank symbol if it reads only the blank symbol the meaning is the count of zero is equal to the count of ones now let us allow the turing machine to enter into the state q4 let the q4 be the final or the accepting state so let me repeat the logic every zero is replaced by x 
every one is also replaced by y. Alternately, zeros are replaced by x and ones are replaced by y. At one point, there are no zeros. The Turing machine is reading only the y's. When there are no zeros, there should not be ones. So the Turing machine is confirming in this way and it reaches the final state Q4. If it reaches the final state, the given string belongs to the language. So this is a design of the transition diagram or the Turing machine for the language L is equal to 0 power n, 1 power n. I hope you all have understood this problem. I am expecting your suggestions or any problems you want me to or you are expecting me to solve. Please comment in the comment section. I request you all to share, like and subscribe the video. Thank you.